there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Free Play Friday, where I actually try out some of the free-to-play games that are available on the PlayStation Network or on PC or on whatever device I decide to try it out on. And today, we're trying out a game called Games of Glory. Now, I have no idea what Games of Glory is about. It's obviously been put up available for free-to-play, so there's probably plenty to see whenever you get into it. I'm taking a wild guess right now that it's another MOBA-style arena combat game with single-player RPG elements. Kind of like Skyforge, but more focused on arena combat. That's my guess, just off the top of my head. Just from looking at designs and stuff, it makes me think that. So let's see what it is. <laughs> Show me the money. Show me the money. Show me the money. Well, show me where you want me to spend my money is actually probably more than likely the key is. Premium, where you buy the characters and the skins. Is this completely silent? Okay, this is actually mildly perturbing whenever there's literally no noise coming from the game. So, uh, obviously, Games of Glory, I haven't logged into it properly yet, so they haven't shown me any intros, they haven't shown me any details. This feels like it's very much a front end for a Unity web-based game, even so far, so I'm not exactly excited. You're starting to worry me. Are you the publisher of this game, actually? I need to pull up the details of this as soon as I actually get the game up and rolling. Oh, it's taking its time trying to load. Come on, guy. You want me to play? Then load a little bit faster than that. I mean, it's not like I haven't had this sitting on my hard drive to pull updates as required, but most of these games tend to actually be... Uh, all you're pulling down is a launcher, and then everything else underneath it is actually the full game. So, I'm because I've never played it, it may be taking this excess time to pull down very important information, i.e. patches. Which means that I might not even be able to play this even from the first base. I might have to actually like do a time lapse. Do the doodle doodle doodle. Okay. Can kind of play by providing an email address as a uh address and major updates about the game as a reward you will receive it. Blah blah blah. Okay. Uh yeah. Okay, create. Go ahead. Thanks for creating the account. You've earned 850 credits for giving your mail. Okay. Thanks for your PlayStation Plus. You have received a gift, Bjorn, and his unique skin for 754 plays. Okay, so, hey, how to play with your friends cross platform? Join the conversation. Free clone rotation. Okay, what's that mean? This week. All right, so it's, it's like they have a specific characters that are available for free. So let's jump in and play a quick game here. Uh, tutorial, brief video introductions, and basic controls. Uh, uh, should we actually take no fuck tutorials? We're going to go straight in the game. We'll try against the computer and see what the hell we're doing. You have been selected to fight in the Games of Glory. Intergalactic battles hosted by the glorious Synarch. Fight alongside your teammates to earn power and influence. Let's begin your training. You will need weapons if you want to fight. Hit square to open the shop. Your clone can carry up to two weapons. So it's actually making me watch the tutorials for my first gameplay. Category and hit cross to purchase a weapon. Okay. By purchasing battery packs in the middle shop bar. So essentially, this is actually the MOBA ass kind of uh, updating of your character. Sequentially. So this is going for more like maybe you have a Heroes of the Storm kind of thing. Uh, LOL, Heroes of the Storm, Dota. But I don't know about this. Now that you're armed, let's get moving. Yeah, it actually does have the smaller units as well. Aim and R2 to attack. Yeah. Ranged weapons deal a ratio of white damage, which is. Uh. These weapons have limited ammunition, which will recharge automatically. Switch so. to a melee weapon at any time by hitting cross. Each clone possesses a unique set of skills. Uh, okay. To read about them. Triangle to read them. Or upgrade them. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, to be honest, I'm actually kind of getting to the point there where I, I, I feels like I know this game before I've actually played it, which is fine. Uh, Arkashan Arena. Welcome to the Arkashan Arena. There are three victory points in the Arkashan Arena. Right, so this already is what it is. You hold points and keep capture. At regular intervals, doors will close around the points and their ownership will reset to neutral. They can then be recaptured 
When your team holds a victory point, the enemy's force field is gradually damaged. Okay. Once it has been completely destroyed, your team will be able to invade the enemy's... Makes sense. That works for me. That's literally what it was. It was just trying to show me... Um, customize your clones. It was just trying to show me the basics of what I, have, well, what I can actually do. Um, basically, the, the base level combat that's in it. And that's pretty fine. Like, I'm, it's a, I, I can't begrudge any tutorials in any way, shape, or form. But it feels like I kind of know that game style. If not in either this top down. Or at least in Paladin's kind of like reverse view. Or third person view. Or first person view. Or... Uh, Paladin, not just Paladins, or um, Smite or something like that. So, Grant, we got this in a basic way. Um, Keen Corn, was it his name? Dead Enders, Dead Ball, Kunichura. Oh, cool aliens. I actually like the alien designs. They're actually pretty nice. He's rude. Molly. Into. Yeah. Uh, Ragnar. Bjorn. Roar <laughs> rather than Thor. Grendel. Saga. I like Saga. That's pretty cool. Okay, I have no idea who I'm going to be picking here, but we'll see what happens. Game found on Arkashan. Game found on Arkashan. Right, who do I have? Grendel. Saga. Bjorn. Or Jasper. Pinto. I think I'm going to have to go with uh, Saga. Select. Skin Selector. Don't really have anything I can change with that. So uh, I was going to say Lock. Yeah. So Lock 2, I'm going to pick. So Blues versus Oranges, I'm imagining. So that makes it a little bit easier. Um, what's my three moves? Something. Uh, because I can't tell because the audio being blocked. What is it? Rocket boost, jam trap, a magnetic road. So essentially, it's a way to boost myself around. So th this is a scout character. Uh, not too sure about playing as a scout character to actually on my first experience because I'll, I'll probably be way too squishy, but I'll be able to run to the point at least. Uh, imagine she she pretty much like floats on these blades in a rocket jet pack. So the character designs, although interesting. Look odd. I don't think like if they're going to go with the bulky techno arms. And in fact, I'm looking at this whether or not is she wearing robotic arms or are they uh, additions to her body? So it doesn't look like she actually has arms coming out of the shoulders, just robotic parts. And then her feet and leg don't go into the knees. It just like it stumps after part of the knee. Which is pretty fine. I mean, essentially, character designs uh, wise, it, it looks interesting, but it does it affects the, the the shape, the flow of it. Um, I would actually be if she had actually had full, full torso covered with armor as well. That would make sense. It kind of partially suffers from the whole um, uh, the la uh, if lady armor in video games, where it actually gets like th smaller based on and just as protective as anything else, and. Making her a scout character so that she doesn't have the, all the armor on. Uh, it trades itself off, balances itself up in some way, shape, or form. I suppose. Um, so two players on my team. Me and another player and a bot versus three bots. So this should be moder like a moderately easy in a way, I hope. But we'll see what happens. Um, obviously, I'm a little bit annoyed that the audio in the game is quite... subdued i mean it's actually it's there but i'm not too sure about how it actually kind of plays across as bedding music i haven't i haven't built any excitement for playing this so far that's what the problem is welcome to the arkashan arena let Good. And glory to our beloved protector, the Synarch. The match will begin in a few seconds. The clones are now preparing their equipment. It would be foolish to go in there empty-handed. Five, four, three, two, one. Match begin. 
Uh, yeah, that. Uh, right, so we need to follow in. There we go, there's the bots. Roger, Roger. Destination clear. Pushing it back. And it's ours. So moving on, oh, get on to the next point. Boom. Ouch, that hurts. That point's ours, but two of them. All right, so we're getting these points controlled pretty quickly, which is important. All of the victory points. We need to go back and take that point that actually hasn't been tucked yet. Oi, come on. Why am I moving so slow? All right, because of these goddamn mines. Ah, you slow ass game. <laughs> this feels like I'm not really dashing anywhere. Am I using any of my skills so far, actually? <laughs> so. L1 it should actually be the reason why I can make it to this. All right. Ah, uh, well. So, got any plans after the match? What do you say we get together and connect our pseudobionics? <laughs> okay, okay. All right, getting another point. <laughs> Am I making a nice move? Because I'm not too sure. Yeah. Ah, god damn it. You serious? There's two of them actually attacking on both sides. Oh. Why did you run out of ammo? Alright, I haven't run out of ammo for the gun. Watch your step. Watch your step. Impressive. Away force field is at 50%. Let's fix that problem and make it down even less. So the gameplay doesn't feel like all that fast, really. Enemy, no mercy. Closing in a few seconds. Doors are closed.
Ay, ay, ay. Ouch, that hurt. Doors are open. Ouch! Watch your step! Here's a present! A neat and precise execution! <laughs> I don't even think that was intentional, really. Did I actually drop that mine, or was that me? Finishing off, finishing off. These games feel quite slow, even for um, this kind of gameplay. It's frustrating. <laughs> Feels like we're really actually just wheeling them into a corner here. Alright, I need to heal. The tension in the arena is palpable. You can palpable? Oh, great way, thank you very much. Can get back here. Ah. If you say so. Ah! I've got no energy left. How do I heal back? How do I heal up? Away force field is at twenty. Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna get bombed here. How do I reheal? Do I get back to the point? Doors will close in 10 seconds. Okay, fine. Can I get back here to reheal? There we go. I can heal better here. Done and dusted. Quickly done. Rocket boost doesn't really kind of like give you much of a bonus. I agree. I agree. Things are about to get complicated for both teams. I wonder how they'll handle it. Serious? I got locked in? Okay, okay. Okay. Doors are open. Right. Watch your step. Shadows. Here's a present. Graham said. Oh. Come on, I want this game to actually be over. Jesus Christ. Set up. Oh, the away force field has been deactivated. Yay! Strategic advantage for the home team. Will they be able to capitalize on it? Oh, oh, how do I actually get in whenever they've got turrets and stuff in the way? Is there a way for me to actually reheal? I have to go all the way back to... Oh, this is bullshit. Alright, so their tower... Yeah, attack their opponent's tower. Grand. It's gonna be okay.
Ram set up. Wow. Okay, so that's my first death. So I need a longer range weapon, really, don't I? Um. Alright, that's working fine for me. Right. That should be better. Are closed. Oh, come on. Away team's nightmare. A tower is being attacked. You won't die yet. That tower looks like a gun. A tower is being attacked. Here's a present. Doors are open. Boom, tower down. A tower has been destroyed. A tower is being attacked. Gone in a way tower. Those gears are over the tower. We're just not enough to resist a big push. Alright, go on. Down you go. Come on. Bye. We're going to take it down. It's going bye bye, and we win. <laughs> oh, hey GP, how's it going? Uh, oh, sorry about the adverts. They just default in because that's what Twitch does. Uh, if you want to actually get it without adverts, uh, YouTube also is streaming it right now. The MC Story Mode series. Uh, well. Uh, the Marvel Hero story mode completed, but it was only two parts to actually complete the entire storyline uh, series. So uh, if you want to check the videos, they're both available here on Twitch. But the um, I'm going to be playing more Marvel Heroes. Uh, I keep saying Heroes Reborn. Heroes Omega in a very short while. This is actually just me testing out a game called Games of Glory for a free play Friday. So, um, yeah, guys, that was a battle in Games of Glory. I'm, that was mildly interesting it doesn't tickle me in any way shape or form it doesn't have the charm of an overwatch or a smite it doesn't kind of like I'll, I'll probably never come near this again uh just because it's my own personal kind of like tastes and styles if you actually find a massive amount of pleasure and enjoyment out of games of glory explain to me what it is that kind of like pulls you in because it doesn't feel like there's a, a lore or an environment or uh, a, a pace that actually kind of holds my attention so um yeah i'm not too not too fussed on that. If you didn't enjoy me talking, if you didn't like what I said about Games of Glory, tell me why I'm wrong. Feel free to do so in the comments below or do so in uh, any live stream whenever you can get a hold of me. But um, yeah, this has been Games of Glory for a free play Friday here on Pass Each Your Skin. That match dragged on. That was just against bots and I didn't really know what I was doing except for the fact that they, I know how to take the points, slowly whittle them down and then take down the shields. And this particular game type, I've seen it done much more engagingly and much better the movement like i was playing as a scout and i felt like i was trudging along the entire time even with rocket jumps and boosts so uh yeah uh, I'm, I'm i'm not on board with this game in any way shape or form it reminds me of the same feeling i had whenever i played paragon which felt like it's trying to do what somebody else is already doing better so uh guys if you 
want to watch more opinions and thoughts and things from me here on the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button way up there at the top or whatever like follow button that goes along with it. And if you don't want to do that, at least just whenever you're looking for me, just go and search for Pastiche of Skin. I'm available anywhere, everywhere on the internet. I'm not trying to hide from you guys in any way, shape or form. So easily just type in my name. Some of the platforms I'm on are listed here. And if you're watching this on YouTube, there will actually be a wee box that pops up around about here. That actually will have a box up there, a box over the far side, and a box down there. This won't be other ones in this series. Uh, there'll be ones on the far side that'll be the most recent videos. And the one right here, over on the far side, is made just for you. It's picked for you from Google Analytics. All the information of what you watch on this channel, not on this channel, but on all your channels. This one will be selected. So I recommend you check that one out because it'll be of your own interests. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.